This is Character Asset. You already know Character did it. And I'm here with Bill So Valley. Bill So Valley. Um, Tell us about yourself. Yo, what's good, yo? It's Valley in the building. I'm an upcoming artist from South Jersey, Willingboro to be exact. I'm here. I'm interviewing my mans right now. Let's get it cracking. So you're an artist. How long have you been making music? Uh, I've been rapping for like about like, let me see, like like a year and like six months so far now. Okay. How old are you? Uh, I'm 24, about to be 25 in August. Where do you live? Uh, right now, I'm living up in North Jersey, North. I just recently moved up here to take my career more seriously. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Willingboro. Well, South I'm Jersey to be exact. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We don't all know this, the Jersey towns, bro. You got to let us know. Yeah, it is, bro. Man, that Jersey. Yo, it's what crazy because all these Jersey towns are oh, my fault. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, all the, you know, it'd be crazy. Like, they'd be, like, having duplicates of these Jersey towns, like, two Morris towns, two Edgewaters and shit like that. It'd be, it'd be confusing as fucking Jersey. That's should crazy. crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> like, it should be wild. What made you start making music a year and a half ago? Um, I kind of been like, like in the music shit and not like at the same time, like I really started off like back in the day, like a little kid, like, you know, playing around with FL Studio and shit like that, like in middle school, like downloading like weird music software, just fucking around with beats. That was like back in middle school, like I would say like ninth, 10th grade, like I, I bought my first microphone, like a little USB shit, like What's that shit called? Snowball. Snowball. I, I was about that. to say it was a snowball. Yeah. <laughs> them jaws and shit. Like, I didn't really have that much experience. So, like, what happened was, you know, I met the kids in my school that, like, rapped and shit. So, like, I fuck around, started, like, engineering them off them, like, that cheap program, the Studio 123 shit. Like, some old some old program shit and, like, Audacity. You never done programs? Oh, yeah. yeah oh, so, Audacity, bro. That's the OG That's, like, the right classic. There. That's, That's the only, OG, only, man. <laughs> Only old, real OGs know, feel me? And then, like, basically, I kicked off from there. Like, I'll say, like, ninth, tenth grade. Like, my whole high school, like, little year, I've been, like, engineering people for free that I knew in my area. Like, it was crazy. Like, um, like I was, like, my boy, um, what's his name? My boy Bear. He, he He's the first kid I started engineering. He He's still rapping now to this day. It was, like, him, my cousin saw a couple people from my hometown. It was like a whole bunch of kids I used to engineer for free, just out the love for it, just to learn about it and stuff. And then like I actually recorded my first song when I went to college. And that was like my first song called Foreign right now, sitting out like a thousand views on my old account on YouTube and shit. Um that was like my first song that I actually recorded myself. And then after that, five years, like six years later, what is it, 20, 20, 20, like the late twenty one, that's when I started like taking rap seriously and I dropped black forces. Okay. So yeah, I've kind of been doing it all my life. It's just like that little pause, like after high school type shit. I didn't really do it that much, but like, like, like a year ago and some change, that's when I just started dropped black forces and just started rapping from there. So tell me about those two songs that you just talked about. Tell me about the inspiration behind them. What made you do them? Your experience, how you yeah. recorded them. Tell me about it. Foreign, I would say foreign was more like a, like, it was more like a play around track. Like, that was, like, my real, like, first track. So it was just, like, you know, like, me, like, boasting, you know, like, getting a foreign car, you know, rap about smoking weed, drinking shit. Like, you know, a lot of shit that all these little kids, like, popularize on shit nowadays. Like, you know, drugs, you know, regular guns and shit like that. Um, Fucking, yeah, it was just, like, you know, just, like, you vibing out with your boy, you riding around, you know, talking about bitches, shit like that. Okay, and then Black Forces, Black Forces is more like a, like a, I'm giving y'all a vibe of what I was like, you know, going through at the time. So like, I was trapping heavy at the time during Black Forces, fucking, um, <laughs> like it was an everyday thing. Like, like when I said that line about, um, let me see, uh, what you call it, sending a dot, like I said, um, a girl hit me up talking about a dime and shit like that. It's like, you know, send a dot in here, it's a cash app, there's a line I was talking about that. Like, um, it's pretty much just like inspiration. It was just like being young, reckless, and just having fun at your age type shit. Like just being outside with the gang and shit. Well, when you say black forces, <laughs> my first thought that comes to mind is I don't give a fuck. Yeah, like it, it was wild, bro. Like, if you wear black forces, you don't give a fuck. 
Exactly. <laughs> like, it was crazy. Like, the video, he had two big-ass bottles of hennies, like, you know, like, prop guns, all black, you know, like, black forces on, some ski masks on. We just don't, you feel me? It's just real black force energy we giving out in the vibe. And I was just pretty much just me talking about, you know, fucking bitches, fucking toting guns, selling drugs, you know, like, black force energy, you know, just doing wild, reckless shit. <laughs> In that game, that what kind of traction is that game? You said what tra- traction? Yeah. Shit, I'm not gonna lie, like I kicked it off heavy though. Like promo wise, I put it on you know rap, uh, college kid, no jumper, um, say, uh, and then put it on say cheese. I put it on other songs on say cheese. Um, I put it on like it was a few articles or hot new hip hop. Like that was my first major song. So when I first like wanted to start rapping, I had to like study. Like, yo, how am I going to promote this? Like, the way I had it. Like, you know, at that time, I'm going to have, like, $5,000 to blow on it. It's like, shit. Like, I spent that through putting it in on blogs, like, hip-hop pages to repost it, all types of stuff. So, it's like, cause I wanted to go all out for my first, like, real actual single to pick up my career. And ever since then, it's been elevating. Like, I still get people to this day hitting, like, yo, Black Forces is fire. Yo, I'm still, like, you feel me? So, like, to this day, I still get reviews and, like, people hitting me up about that one song I first dropped. And I'm like, bro, I have, like, two other albums out right now. Like, you feel me? Like, they don't even know about it. Like, you feel me? So that's how it really, really be going nowadays. <laughs> All right. Can I be real with you for a minute? Yeah. You said, when you were talking about that first song that you did, you said, uh-huh. you know, I, did, I made this song about all the things that the kids are talking about that they want to hear about and things like that. You did that intentionally because, you know, you're trying to make a name for yourself. Is that the kind mm-hmm. of music you want to continue making once you do? Fuck, I mean, not really. I mean, honestly, right now, like, I just changed my sound. Like, my sound, like, I'm on the drill wave now because, you know, Everybody likes the drill wave nowadays. That's the only thing that's really popping on the East Coast now, you know, like especially in Jersey. Like Jersey's just now getting light with the Jersey Club drill, Jersey Club, and then like, you know, Jersey drill. So like I kind of peep that's getting me more like traction more than my regular sound. So like my whole plan right now is, you know, everybody wants to hear it. So it's like, you know, use that as a leverage. And then I can switch over to being back to like a different sound or like you know like doing something different because once you get that fan base you can do anything you want basically so that's pretty much like the plan like i me personally i don't like drill music but it's like because it's like it's like too easy you know what i'm saying like it's anybody can rap about you know killing people guns and you know regular shit but you know when you get that different sound and being versatile that's more fun but Nowadays, as, as sound is always changing, you know, what's popular now is just drill. So it's like, you know, like, because either way, I go to the studio, I do, like, a couple drill songs, and I do, like, a couple, like, versatile shit. I do, like, some shit, like, some like, completely a whole different category, like, some bright shit, like, some slow songs or some shit like that. Like, I like to experiment a lot. You know, it's just songs I didn't put out yet. Like, I have about, let me see, 20, 38 under these songs right now. All different shit, all drill, all versatile shit. So it's just like about lyrical content. Yeah, I got lyrical content too. <clears throat> got shit like that too. I got all types of like all different categories. I got it all right now. So like I'm just like slowly just going by singles now, right now. So I'm just waiting for that one single to pop off before I start doing my next move. <clears throat> once it pops, once everything you're doing pops off, what is the kind of music that you want to start making? More like pain, pain music, pain songs. Cause lately, that's what I've been going through. Like, you feel me? I've been going through like a lot of, you know, like a lot of like, like a lot of fucked up, you know, life just hits you type of shit. So it's like, I want to go more into that category more. I see myself writing more pain than like, you know, other, my other songs right now. So it's like, I kind of want to go to that lane a little bit, but I'll probably fuck around, switch that up too in like a couple years type shit. But right now, I want to go in that pain lane, like that pain lane. I like that a lot. Tell me about some mm-hmm. of the obstacles that you faced. Shit, going to jail, in and out of jail for like the last year. Um, from the trap. Uh, yeah, a lot, I mean, yeah, took the cops on the chase. Um, I did a lot of crazy shit in the past year. Gun charges, um, not gun charges, drug charges, fucking um, taking boys on the chase, um, getting locked up again for drug charges. 
Uh, like a whole lot of bullshit. I'm still fighting like my cases to this day type shit. So it's just a whole bunch of bullshit. What have you learned from all that? Shit. I mean, personally, like, end of the day, it's like, I learned, like, you know, I learned, I fucked up a lot of opportunities with that shit. So it's like, I, I missed mad shows I was booked for. Uh, like, personally, that's why I kind of, it's like, you know, it's like kind of hard. Like, I kind of left that life alone type shit just to get, like, you know, like, dragged back into it in some way. Like, it's just, it's a lot to learn from it. Like, to me, just jail shit ain't worth it. You me? That's why I'm just going full all with the music. <laughs> it doesn't make it like, any easier, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, it's the jail shit, man. How long were you um, in there for? Uh, I was in the eighth. I was locked up in the eighth for like a month, a month for some change. And then, like, back down out this way, I was locked up for like two weeks, kept going in and out type shit. So it's just like, this is bullshit. I keep getting locked up for. <laughs> do you want to talk about any of that? What happened? What your experience in jail? You know, do you want to talk about yeah. that? Oh, uh, nah, bro. It was kind of crazy, yo. Um, fuck. Um, I was locked up in uh, fuck. What the fuck? The uh, fuck. Out uh, fuck. Augusta. Nah, it's not, what the fuck is it called? Hold up. Damn. It, I was locked up with one of them YS. Yo, I was locked up with one of the YS YSL kids. The one of them rappers. Well, I'm trying to forget. I'm trying oh, to just fucking name. Bro, bro I, I, they was in, crazy, I was in. I um, was in. Yeah, it, yo, and it was crazy in jail. I got a message from um Sauce Walker. Okay. And it was Sauce, yeah, he was like, "Yo, I see you grinding." I'm like, "Yo, I'm telling my manager, like, yo, tell him to hit, tell, tell, text him back, like, yo, I'm locked up right now." Type shit. But by the time I got out, I guess he was wasn't fucking with it. Like he ain't hit me back or nothing. So I'm like, damn. But I was fucking um. I'm trying to remember this kid's name, bro. I was in there with one of the YSL rappers. <laughs> he was telling me like, it was about the time where they all got locked up and shit. Um, damn, because I got locked up in, um, was it Augusta? Was it Augusta? No. I'm trying to remember. What the fuck? I'm trying to remember. So fucking weird ass jail name. <laughs> I just know it was like an hour and some chains away from the A. Yeah. So it was just like, yeah, but it was, it was kind of, I kind of, I met a lot of cool, I kind of like, it made me more humble in there, you see what I'm saying? Like, it made me think more of my ass, and it made me, when I got out, I wanted to take it just more, just only focus on music, like, get my cases sorted out, only focus on my music, like, as soon as I got out, I got right back to just doing shows, music, stayed out the way, I had to switch my whole crowd up, like, I just stated myself that I just focus only on music, it's not about music, I don't give a fuck about it, I don't want nothing to do, it's going to send me to jail, Nothing like my past life when I got out, I just said, Fuck that shit, bro. It's you switched your it. whole crowd up, bro. I think that's probably the <laughs> most significant thing that you said in that whole statement. You switched your whole crowd up because that's what it's all about, exactly, bro. Like before that, I was just around people that were like fake supported. Like it was crazy because, like, you feel me, like my man, like my so called man, you feel me, he took my car when I was down there. And you feel me, he's supposed to come get me. I could have been got out of that shit. You feel me? I could have been got bailed out at night. He did. He never came back and got me. So I was sitting down there. Nobody else would come down there and get me. I was just sitting down there for a month or some shit. Nobody would come and get me. I had to get my my uncles finally came down there and got me. He kept telling me bullshit on why he couldn't come down there. And then he kept telling me he was gonna come down there and get me. It, it was like Damn, bro. when I when I went through that, that made me really like revamp people around me. People I fuck with and people I thought that fuck with me. You see what I'm saying? And so it was like like that kind of like being in that situation made me realize a lot of shit and like that's why my crowd today is way different like way different like people that really genuinely fuck with me type shit you feel me like a lot of people just around me for the clock because they see me going up shit like that you know for the bitches you know people around me like it'd be people like that you feel me but now my team's solid now you feel me no bullshit like you feel me so it's more man it's more just be focused. I'm more in my zone than anything. Like right now is my zone type shit. What does success look like to you? The success is not being in the same place you was last year, or like mm. you were elevated, or you just like you accomplishing your goals more. You just like 
I would say like when you when you I would say like because everybody got like their own version of success. So I would say like when you feel like you you doing something right and you and you see it's benefiting, you, that's success basically. That's how I see it as. Or you changed, or you you elevated, you growth. That's success to me. All about like like you feel me. Life is all about evolving, changing, and improving, and you learning a lot. That's what it was about to me. That's my original success. Hell yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. I respect that. Dude, that's all you got, bro. Man, I just wish the shit I knew when I was when I was younger that I know now. I wish, bro. But I pretty much everybody says that. But man, I wish I had the knowledge I had today back then, bro. No cap. <clears throat> Trust no me. everyone can appreciate that, man. I promise you. Man, when you when you when you oh, I used to have old heads that used to tell me like, yo, you need to do this and you need that. You know, me being part of the younger generation, like, yo, man, he don't know what he's talking about. You know, shit like that. You feel me? It be it be shit like that. Oh, absolutely, you know absolutely. <laughs> that should be crazy, bro. <laughs> tell me something unique about yourself that most people don't know. Shit, um. Let me see. Say something unique. Uh I don't know. I wouldn't I don't really like to say unique, but I would say like I don't know, like you know BF versus GF, you hear them back in the day? Yeah, yeah I was in their shit one day. That shit had like six million views. <laughs> uh fucking um let me see. Say something unique. I don't know. Wait, hold Damn. on. Ex explain <laughs> wait, what what were you saying? What happened? Oh well, you never. Oh, oh, BF versus GF. It was like a uh, the little vlog, like you know that little YouTube couple back yeah, in the I day. Yeah, I remember like, them. I don't know anything about them. Oh, oh, fucking um, they like a little vlog couple. They look, they were like probably one of the first people that was doing that little couple, like you know the couple YouTube shit. Okay, right? and, you know, okay. They just millions of them, but back then they were like the original people. I knew they used to do like little pranks, all that. They came to Jersey one time and they was in like one of my hometowns near me, so I'm like um. People tell me like, yo, get on there, go on there, go on there, do this, do that foot thing you had, because I know I put my foot behind my head back in the day. That was like something unique about me. Everybody okay. like okay. put your foot behind your head, some flexible shit. I was like the young boy days, so I was wilding. Um, so yeah, they had the camera out rolling and like sending mincing the little carnival shit. But they're like, yo, go out there and do your thing. So I went out there, introduced myself. He's like, oh, yeah, we're going to get you on camera. I'm like, all right, bet. Put my foot behind my head. This shit got like 6 million views on YouTube right now. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Damn. And it was funny. <laughs> yeah, bro. I was like, and it's crazy. The next day, I remember like ninth grade. The next day, he was like, yo, he was doing such and such. I'm like, I was like, on what? I'm like, oh, yeah, the YouTube shit. It was like, yeah, bro, that shit got a million views right now. I'm like, oh, word, 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 it's lit. I didn't even know who the fuck they were at that time. That's so, like, cool. like, you feel me? I didn't really give, like, me, I didn't really give a fuck about shit like that when I was younger. Like, I was sure. like, oh, you feel me? But <laughs> I was kind of like a class clown back in the day, so I used to always do funny shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> and fucking, but yeah, bro, like, I guess that's unique right there. I used to put my, I used to be put my foot behind my head. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> like this is wild shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. <laughs> is there anything that I didn't think to ask you? I didn't know to ask you, or anything you got coming up you want to talk about? Shit coming up. Um, let me see. Right now, like I mean, I got projects coming up. Um, I got Welcome to the Valley two coming out this year before the summer's over. Uh, I'm about to open up for Rowdy Rebel. Um, July twenty fourth. Okay. You know my boy Day. He's opening up with me. Hell yeah. Day. Um, he's opening up with me. Um, I got my video, my new single, Bob's about to drop. Day real. Day real. Yeah. Hell they yeah, real. bro. That's yeah, yeah I managed man. him. That's my artist. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh well, damn. We got to talk about that, man. Tell me, you manage artists? Yeah. Oh yeah, bro. Yeah. Well, I, bro. That, but that's what I didn't ask you, man. Tell me about <laughs> that. Bro, I be dumb. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I tell you, when I be busy, like I be busy, bro. Like, like this week I took a break from shows, but bro, like, like three weeks, or I like I do like, I do like two to three shows, open mics every three weeks to keep grinding, bro. I be busy, bro. Like, like busy studio. How many, busy. Are, how many artists do you manage? Uh, right now, I manage two. I manage Day and my other boy, but my boy locked up right now. So, what do you do? What What does that look like for you? <laughs> Um, I mean, 
it's pretty much we all like I would say we kind of all on the same page because it's like at the same time it's like any any opportunities I find I put them on with it type shit. So yo bro, I got a show. Come with me type shit. Yo bro, studio time. You want to slide with me? Come on with me type shit. You feel me? Like I just started managing day, so me and him got some shit we're operating right now. Like I'm trying to get him to get some more content out there. That's amazing. You know shit like that. You feel me? Yeah, he cool. That's my man. He be working too. I just hell put him, yeah, man. I, yeah, he be working. I just put him on to mad game and that shit. So this year he's definitely going up. But pretty much like yeah, like that's what I'm basically doing right now. Like I'm trying to like balance out my career and then managing this guy's career and then my other guy's career. Like you feel me? It's like a whole bunch. It's like a whole bunch of shit I be doing, bro. Shows this that connections platforms. Like you feel me? Shit like that. That's all I do. Like I go out and get my own connections basically. Like that's what's up. Been doing that since I started rapping, bro. Man, you out here hustling, bro. You killing it. You you trying to build it for yourself, but also help others build it too. And and I got mad respect for that for real. Yeah, appreciate you, man. You bring like I appreciate you for having me on your platform. Hey man, I appreciate your time, bro. This has been Character Asset with Bill So Valley. I really appreciate your time. It's been a great conversation, mm-hmm. man. I can't wait to see what you and Day Real accomplish, man. Y'all have the whole world ahead of you. I can't wait to see what happens. Gee, man, thank you for having me, y'all. Thanks, yeah, for, man. Thanks for coming. Peace up. I'll see y'all next time.